to welcome you to the Selma channel. This is a live broadcast, well, it will be a recording for you, of course, from the DNE territory, where construction is in full swing. Not only construction, but also, I would say, the finishing works. Here, as always, is Alexander Sudarev, and here we go. You know, from the last video, if you look at it close up, the camera doesn't seem to catch a lot of changes. But if you and I look around, I think we'll find a lot of interesting things. Let's see. Let us now make some accents on what work is done and what it is for. The global goal of all the work is, of course, to get the building up and running. But if we look at the specifics, well, let's see. First, the windows that separate our production line, in this case, have already been installed. On the other side, the windows have also been installed. On the left side, there are partially mounted doors. I think we'll go over to them and show them to you. There are doors to the lab. There are doors separating the electrical input cabinets. Also, as for the electric work, we are beginning to install cable ducts, trays, in order to lay the power grid already in the production part of the building. The were assembled electrical cabinets, RSHCA1 and 2. You can see them on the screens right now. And in general, preparations are also underway for the wiring of the utility networks in the administrative and amenity building and virtually all parts of the DNE building. What else is worth noting? The warehouse is being formed. The warehouse is already an almost finished, completed unit. Shelving is being assembled here and will be available for use in the near future. But that is not the most important thing. I think that one of the main events of today is the installation of water pipes in the building. Communications, utilities that are entered in the building. This is the first entry and the pipes are already inside. You can see it on your screens right now. You can see the trench that was excavated. You can see how the pipes have been laid. They are now brought into the distribution center. The gate valves will now be installed there. And this is what will allow us to provide water for the building. Namely, we provide water for the fire safety rooms, where the pumps will stand. So this is what we need, first of all, to increase the safety of our facility and all the people who are now in it. We will also work on the water main, which will be designed for other things, but we will show all of these things to you soon. So hooray comrades, hooray! The first inlet is already there. Let's move on. The laser equipment continues to be installed. They continue to install it. The strapping is being done, the laser complex itself is already installed. And preparations are being made to connect the electricity, as we said earlier. I think that this laser equipment will be up and running in the near future. And note that there is a lot of space here, and something tells me that this laser won't stay here by itself. So let's go over there. Come on in like this. Look. The aisles. I think that the aisles have already been caught on camera. Now the guys are working on the installation of the power metal structures. There is also marking made for the cutting of the ducts for the utilities. They will come from these rooms, which we can see next. The door is closed and it hides the main control room cabinets. Let's move on. It's not easy for the cameraman because we're having an impromptu. Hello, we're making a little video here. Do you mind? I hope you don't. Look, we're just getting the equipment installed. This cabinet is already being installed. Great. Notice 
what it looks inside the scale of construction and let's move on let's not disturb them now we're entering the warehouse there are racks the construction the structures are really enormous also note that here the installation of additional racks will continue and a special forklift will ride among them which will be able to distribute all those materials which will be stored here and it is possible to store both materials and finished products donuts for them and basically everything else let's go further a ramp behind it and what is above us we used to see a mezzanine here but the thing is you cannot see it now the metalwork is installed the panels are mounted and we've actually got isolated rooms that will be used for a certain purpose well let's probably go upstairs and see what it looks like from the inside here we are on the mezzanine of the first floor which is at the back of the building near the ramp There are already large partitions that have appeared. Some of them are walls that separate us from the storage part of the building. But there are also partitions along the mezzanine itself. This is where the work areas are already being formed. Where you can do your duties, your work. Let's move on. Now we'll get into the next room. It will be quite dark. But still, by the way, you will notice that most of the interior storm drainage is done and now we have to connect to the utility lines that were previously buried in the ground. We'll connect them. So the process is moving in that direction as well. Well, you cannot see anything at all here. Know that there is no daylight in this room. You need artificial lighting here. This room can be used as a warehouse or something else. So these are the processes going on at the construction site. I think that the footage captures some of the processes that go on without comment today and they are quite interesting and curious. The most attentive viewers will immediately notice this but let's say that we will keep some intrigue. Well, be sure to subscribe to our social networks to keep up to date with all the developments in the project Savalmash. I think that there will be a lot more interesting information ahead. Thank you for your time. See you again.